It is the 24th of the 8th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start on the extinction protocol tonight. I've got a lot going on, so I'm just going to get right to it. 5.8 magnitude, that's official. Virginia earthquake stuns northeast United States. Strongest quake in 114 years. No kidding. And of course they've got videos attached and all the stories that they've been running non-stop. <clears throat> 5.3 magnitude earthquake shakes southern Colorado, the largest quake in 40 years. I put out a video on that this morning as well, too, the quake swarm that's going on in the state of Colorado, um, just north of uh, Los Alamos, New Mexico. And uh, magnitude 6.0 magnitude earthquake strikes Sumatra, Indonesia, a very active area in the Ring of Fire. Most powerful storm in Ontario in 15 years reduces parts of uh, Godrich to rubble. Now this is out of Canada, and I reported it upon yesterday. It was the tor tornado that touched down. Uh, pictures and videos are starting to come out on that, and the devastation that these people are having to face <clears throat> right now. Iran moves centrifuges to underground site. Uh, this is just another story gearing us up ready for uh, World War III because the big fight's about to get on because uh, they don't have anything else to play with. Heavy rain kills seven. Wrecks property in Niger. And uh, heavy rains killed seven people and done considerable damage to property in Niger, the government's and radio stations said on Friday. And uh, yeah, just torrential downpours. Sunspot cluster region on sun growing again. Uh, this is sunspot 1271. And again, uh, the sun's putting on quite a little show right now. Irene to become Category 3 threat to east coast of the United States. Uh, Hurricane Irene is marching its way towards and looks like it's skirting north of uh, Haiti and um, Cuba, so it's going to gain strength up through the Caribbean on the way to the east coast of the United States. So something definitely we're going to have to keep an eye on this week. And four small earthquakes shake a region in Scotland. And uh, that's not an everyday thing. Over to EarthChangesScott.net. Uh, reports of monster hailstorm in China. They've got some videos video out of... Uh, uh, they're seeing hailstones as large as rice bowls, um, <clears throat> destroying cars and damaging property and all of that. Uh, they've got the tornado in uh, Ontario story. 5.8 earthquake causes frantic evacuation of Pentagon. The Pentagon was evacuated early Tuesday afternoon, moments after a 5.8 magnitude earthquake out of uh, Mineral, Virginia, shipped reinforced concrete walls of the building, sending panicked workers running for the exits. And uh, that's a story that's been going on and on, and there's definitely some uh, reports out of some structural damage that's happened due to this, uh, nuclear power plants that have been offline. Um, <clears throat> the one that was sitting there right next to it, I forget the name of it, top of my head right now, but the company admits uh, that nuclear power plant was only designed to withstand a 5.9 or 6.0 earthquake. Uh, that's the one in Virginia. And uh, guess what? It's a 5.8. So uh, something definitely to stay tuned, and I'll keep an eye on that for sure. Uh, they got a fear piece, our Category 6 hurricanes coming soon. Uh, of course they are. Um, the Virginia earthquake story. Hurricane Irene. Newly discovered Icelandic current could lead to climate cooling. And if you remember last year when um, the Gulf current shut down, uh, it's no longer running up into uh, the England area past Greenland. It's definitely shooting off the coast of, say, North Carolina and dispersing out into the Atlantic Ocean that way. Uh, they've discovered a new cold current coming down. And uh, they're saying get ready for a severe winter. This could be uh, the switchover thing that changes for a mini ice age that happened, um, what was it, back in the 1500s or so. So uh, definitely something to keep an eye on. Um, global warming is becoming climate change because it's, it's heading to a uh, northern hemisphere cooling period. 
um, which we're not used to one little bit. Uh, well, they got a story about uh, electrifying moment as lightning hit New York Bridge as spectacular storm hits the city. Uh, one of the photographer uh, caught a picture of the George Washington Bridge in New York City getting struck by lightning. Uh, actually, it's a pretty cool shot. I might put it up on my channel for a few days. And record-breaking record breaking extreme heat wave is just starting for Arizona. And uh, extreme heat wears on with our excessive heat warning still in effect until 8 p.m. on Thursday. And uh, again, there's this big bubble of heat sitting over the central United States right now. Uh, we had 103 heat. 103 degree Fahrenheit heat indexes here in Des Moines today. Uh, it was a soggy, miserable walk to work. And every time I opened up that drive through window, it was like uh, jumping into a steam bath. It's pretty hot here. Finally, over to the RSOE tonight. They've got a lot going on. Uh, out of Texas, they have a classified, non categorized event. Basically, uh, they're having power problems and uh, they're asking people to turn their lights on, off if they're not using them absolutely necessarily before 7 p.m. Uh, during peak hours of uh, <clears throat> activity in Texas because of the overwhelming heat and um, their situation, they, they're not being able to provide the power um, that people, that the demand is, obviously. <clears throat> Got another non-categorized event out of Washington, D.C. Uh, apparently the 5.8 earthquake has, um, they think the Washington Monument might be leaning. They checked it. There's definitely cracks at the top of the monument. Uh, they're trying to figure out how to fix these cracks before they let anybody close to this thing again. Um, they're not saying whether the, the, the monument's literally leaning or not. Um, so that's kind of still up in the air. Uh, flash flooding out of New Mexico. Cochiti. Uh, apparently there's, a, um, there's a, 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 a fruit orchard that's just been wiped clean because you had, they had all those fires there last month. Where everything's been burnt to the ground and now their monsoon season's coming in. And the water's coming down this valley so fast uh, that their house was destroyed. And they're saying that like, there'll be literally nothing left at the end of monsoon season. So they're having a heck of a time in New Mexico um, after all of those fires once they're getting these, these heavy rains. Heat wave out of Las Vegas, Nevada. I uh, got a heat wave out of Bulgaria. Uh, the earthquake in Virginia, of course. Uh, heat wave in Austria. Severe flash flooding in Nigeria, Africa. Uh, we got flash flooding in Finland. Uh, the capital city, Helsinki, southern Finland. Extreme weather, flash flooding in the United Kingdom and London. Uh, heat wave in Hungary statewide, and of course the earthquakes in Colorado. Again, that's a lot going on for one day, and if I've missed anything, please uh, let me know. Attach your comments or videos below. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks for all your help.